I bought into that little flush there. I'll move this up a little. Give myself a little room here. So we have a one minute, five minute, 60 minutes starting to turn back up, three minutes all set up. It is, you know, unless there's some news, maybe some selling at the end of the day, and we start to do, but then this is kind of flatlining here, which I'm not extremely happy about, that uh, it should have took that in consideration that we are starting to hold under that 20 line. The slow is also starting to rotate back down under 20, and, and actually the uh, fast is now, wouldn't mind to see a flag and get us out of here, but, um, Right now, this first time we're actually seeing embedded stochastics, so we have to watch this to see if this trend. I mean, this is what we. This is good. I mean, the trade is fine, but we'll know if we want to get out of this trade by if this moves up, and we don't get a rotation on the slower medium, but we get a fast rotation on the fast. That tells us we need to get out of dodge, and then we're going to probably end up going back down. So you keep a finger on the trigger on this type of trade. Or things will just break down and go to hell real fast. But I have a feeling that that's what we're going to see. We're going to see if we get a little bearish flag, a little, a little bounce. Um, these two are possibly staying embedded. Let's get the fast rotation. I don't care what we have on that at that time. If it's two ticks, one tick, four ticks, we'll take it off on that first rotation, especially if this is embedded. If the, if the, um, the medium starts to move back up, well, then I... Um, we might even consider holding a little because we do have that five minute, three minute setup on our side. Just waiting for something here to, to pop. It seems like a good level, but not yet. That has not triggered yet. No divergence embedded. But fighting. We got a five minute, one minute, oh, one, <laughs> excuse me, one minute, excuse me, um, one minute buy signal there. And again, just working, working us through this uh, trade. Remember what we're looking for. We're going to look at that slow right here, the medium right here, and that fast rotation. Now we're getting a little rotation here. We're going to start to move up here. The, uh, the middle one here is starting to rotate up a little. This one's still pushing down, so... 
So right now we're looking at more bearish. Keep our finger on the trigger. If we want to get out, I would. I would. I'm still, you know, giving it a shot here. Remember, we have a five-minute, sixty-minute time frame working in your favor. Could be something bigger here. Um, but I would go with this as a bear flag. But I'd like to try to squeeze a little bit more out of it. Nothing really happening on those options on this small move, but we'll see if it starts to move. Again, coming at the end, second part of the day on a uh, Friday expiration day for these weeklies, they are slowly uh, losing value. The one going out from uh, going out a week here, it's hanging in there. Not much, not much action on it though. It seems to be a little bit more action here on the ES right now. So we're starting to see that one minute start to turn back up now. It's starting to turn back up. That's looking really good. The five minute here should be turning back up also. And, um, well, I'm not paying attention to the 60 as much. But this one minute is actually great here. I would definitely look for a little bit more upside. Mm -hmm. What time is it? 12.16. So I already got a video out. I wanted to see if this thing was working on the stitcher. Day trading radio uh, podcasts are also being um, broadcast on Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, Amazon Fire, the uh, Roku Box. You know, you can watch the show on all those uh, platforms. I like just taking it in the car with me, connecting the Bluetooth to the radio, and don't listen to the show with all the uh, bells and whistles in the background. The pit. Um, Mr. Land, the news, the crickets, the trade alerts. You even get to hear some of the uh, the tradeometer sometimes echoing in the background, which is good. Oh boy, Stitcher, podcast, oh, that could be wrong, that's wrong, that's why it's not pulling it, all right, don't mind me, I'm talking to myself while I'm working here, but uh, again, this is one of those videos where I'll probably cut out all this junk time, maybe even pull it, I just want you to watch the trade here and see how I analyze it. We're still seeing that slow, well, slow move on the fast stochastic, the fast one, the uh, quick rotation uh, normally, and it hasn't, we haven't even gotten up, up above 40 yet, and uh, we've gotten a little bounce up to the 20. I'm going to take that as a positive for now.
what? Well, we can start to look at this 80, starting to move up. I think we get a little bit higher here. Oh, sorry about that one more time. I'll just put an order up there just in case I'm not paying attention to it. And it flushes up there fast. Your profit target has been reached. There we go. And now, um, and it still looks like we have a little more t uh, room to go on this rotation. But I wanted to show you this. But um, you know what we did have is a, g a good signal. You know that signal was a divergence. Uh, what was the other? Th there was something else that happened here that looked, was really good. Um, it worked out. Now I just want to show you. Um, When we get up here, we start to take out that uh, that 80 line, and again, under uh, you know it's not there, it's there, it's close to it. Your mileage might uh, vary on your ent your exit, but just to kind of understand, that's that's our kind of risk reward level, the uh, signal and then the rotation. But because we had that five, this was really a multiple time frame setup for me wasn't the divergence it was the one minute three minute five minute setup with a 60 minute kicker to the upside um, so this could actually still look good I want to look at that cash chart on that right now I want to show you something on this too this, this is uh, the SPX I could show it on here I don't even know all right well oh wow didn't even notice that Johnny perfect trend line retracement we talk about one two three patterns I mark these patterns out all the time this is um, this is a golden pattern from the other night too it came down touched it went sideways popped up here finally broke out of this downward channel and that first rotation to the to the penny to the penny it's awesome and um, well that's it I mean that's uh, that's that's actually our, uh, it's actually the three minute the five minutes gonna be the same thing the five minutes just starting to rotate back up so I think you have that going for you and the 60 starting to get that bounce earlier today we had that actually 60 minute rotation cross on the Twitter alert which is a good alert to, to have and I'll talk about that later on another video but that seems to be holding up okay right now it's kind of you know I still still would uh, you know give it a little room here especially because of that five minute time frame but you don't have to worry about any of that, you know, because each one of these setups should have the same criteria that you put, that same great criteria that you use to wait for your entries and get you in such great positions should be that same discipline and same patience, same criteria you use to exit your trades. Here was your sell signal, and that's what I told you. This happens over and over and over. The times that you want to guess that, hey, uh, maybe this time it's going to hold up. So that's a choice you have to make. You know the market is great at uh, pushing, pushing your buttons. But look at look at that. When I tell you, take it off there, save yourself a lot of headache. Because remember, you're working on. I got five ticks on that trade. All right, that was a hard five ticks to just to wait out. But then boom, next thing you know, you're you know here comes five ticks in. You're in a uh, five ticks. So you're back to break even, and now you're saying, oh, i got to get that money back. And for whatever reason, maybe that five minutes stalls out. Maybe, you know, who knows what's going on. But, uh, you know, you have this as a definite. 
these are definites, you know, but you have to take it off because a definite doesn't mean it's going to be the biggest move. I mean, here's a great move. Um, the other thing, Amgen here pushing a little bit higher. The other thing that's interesting on this, um, this was a nice short back here at about 11.20. I want to take a look at the puts on this. That's a move from about 21.97 to 29.92, a five-point move. That's a decent move. All right. I want to see if I could use this as an example. And again, I'll probably concentrate on the uh, in the money. Um, Uh, you know, we're going to go a week out just to, just to see what it looks like. So, um, December week two puts, and right now we're at the time we're trading about one, uh, 2190. Oh, let me get the spy up here. Uh, 219.76, 219.76. Days remaining 219.76. Maybe we'll go to that. Uh, we'll go to 219.50s. That doesn't matter really. The 220s. Let's go with the 220s. So that's going to show up on the screen here. Now, what I want to just show you is when that's when the, the spy did pull back here. It's not the best example either. Let's go to the one minute chart. Remember, with the spy puts, you when you buy a put, you're get you're, you're gonna that put's gonna go up as the price goes down. So in this case, just for you know, fits and giggles here. We put, you know, we look at this move down that happened around uh, 11.20, 11.20. So I can actually put a, a little, I think I have a little thing here that I could do. All right, back here with you. I did something. I was, I was just going over all these option plays, and I didn't have the camera on the right screen. So I'm kind of going back here and kind of describing what I was doing because you didn't get the, you didn't get to see the charts. And what I'm trying to do is uh, we're, we're looking at the move in the markets today. And we go back to here, what I was concentrated on. We just got out of a trade here from here to here. All right. We just got out of a trade from here to here. And the reason we got in that trade, um, you know, it was actually a triple a triple time frame set up for me. Uh, it was oversold. We did have a tradeometer set up back over here, but it can't rotate it back down. But I was just taking this as a, as a triple because we were going to say be it, pay attention to the lower trend line here or the lower stochastic band. This one and this one we watch to see how if it stays underneath, especially stays under 20, and we watch for that rotation. And then most likely it's going to be a flag. So what I, I did is I walked you through this whole process. We got in, um, you know, we took that trade, and I said we'd probably be better to get out here. And then just like we could see here with the slow stochastic down here, it gives us our bigger bigger trend. We know that the pressure to the downside. So, but earlier on today, we had so many great, great short signals with the tradeometer. And I think the important thing with that is um, that this is such a short-term trade that you have to respect it. Sometimes it is hard to get out of the, uh, the bullish phase. You don't want to short things. It's just, I understand that. Um, but think of this as something a little bit different. You know, think of this as very, um, you know, kind of micro uh, trading, you know, real good signals. You're not worried about the overall trend. You got to get that in mind. You still believe the markets are going up, but this is you're taking advantage on these signals, little pullbacks. Everything's organized. Everything's exact. And there's no, there's no real risk because it's all defined for you. So if you did, I wanted to show you, you know, what you could do. When I was looking at the... Um, I was looking at these spy, um, and this is a good example. I'm going to go back over here. Hold on, I'm not going. And I, what I was doing was I was looking at the, I was looking at the second or the, the second week or next week's weekly, um, 
spy puts. Because first of all, we want to identify that this, at this point, was the our cell signal. It was a good cell signal. Now that's the um, that's week one, but we're not looking at week one yet. We're going to look at week. I was looking at week two. Come on, oh, that's the put. All right, hold on. Week two, the two twenties. That's what I was looking at, and. Um, we have that signal, and I'm saying, all right, you know, it's trading about at the time of that signal, it's trading about one, 104. All right. Now, if you happen to take that, you know, you're either taking the uh, the short here, and if you're taking that short on the SPY, first of all, you, you have to pony up some money, uh, and that basically is $220 per share. So, you know, we'll keep things on an even keel here, and we'll say you have 100 shares just to make the calculation. So you get 100 shares, you nail the top. And you nailed the, you the exit here. So basically, you get 50 cents on that um, 100 shares, and that gives you $50. So you made, you put up uh, $22,000, and you made $50 on a move from 11.20 to about 12.20. So put that in your mind. All right. So then we're looking at the options here, uh, the options on the spy, and we're talking about this. And remember, this is no pattern day trading rule apply if you open up a cash account. I'm going to give that uh, speed trader a little sh shout out there. You know, talk to Craig about this, but this is good. Um, so for whatever reason, argument's sake, you got in on your, on your short signal there. You got in on short signal, right? You got your, you got your, at the time, it's trading about a dollar three. This is going to expire next week, about a dollar three. I want to take that same trade over that same time frame because we got out right at the lows and we're going to get out right at the highs of this. So we moved up 13 cents, 13 cents, uh, which is a 12% move, 13 cents, a 12% move. All right. Hey, not bad. You know, do the, do, do the math. All right. So if we do the math here, and again, take that, uh, that little uh, standardized thing at 13, uh, 13 cents. So 13 cents, and we had, in, in this case, we'll say we had 10 cars. So originally, it's, it's trading at a dollar three, right? Uh, or, yeah, dollar three. Uh, that, that's per contract. Now, a contract represents 100 shares, so multiply that by 100, um, and you'll get $103 per contract. So we took 10 contracts, it'd be $1,030. So $1,030. 10 contracts. That's how much money you would have to put in to get 10 contracts at this point. A nice move up. Uh, if you took your 10 con contracts off, like I said, you get that 13 cents. At 13 cents, uh, do the math. So it's 13, uh, 10, I don't know, 60, 160. So about $130 profit on if you sold that. You'll be selling it at, uh, you bought it at 103, you'll be selling it at 13 cent profit, 116. Again, 116 times 100 is the 1,160, and then that's just off of the 1,030. It gives us $130 profit. Um, so you get $130 profit using that uh, cash, which gives us the percentage gain. Uh, not a bad percentage gain, you know. You know it's all about what you uh, expect out of the markets. When people say, yeah, I like trade, my trades, you know, bring me about 10, 12%. Uh, people will be open their eye. Holy crap! That's un, 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 unheard of. Well, you know what? That's going out a week gives you a little bit more week. Uh, it's not as volatile, and it's not maybe not that uh, not not a great trade. Maybe it's not. So you, the other one we want to look at is the weekly in the money now type of things going on that expires this week, like tomorrow. So in that same example, where we got 12% on that, the other one we got like a point something percent and only made, uh, I don't even know how much we made on the other one. I already forgot, just 40, $43 and put up 22000 This one we made and, uh, $130 and put up 1000 What's the next one here? So the next one is, let's just say, in the market here, moving up here, um, we're going to go to in the money. All right, and at the time frame, let's see here, December week two. Let's, all right, let's see. We're at the time frame what we're looking at here. 
was trading about it was the spy was about 220 so I think we'll look at the 220s right One two nineteen. Also, we'll see two twenties. Yeah, let's just go to the two twenties. All right. So here's the two twenties. Um, so these are weekly two twenties, as you can see. At that same time frame, you got in on that gap. You know, I just put everything across the line. Uh, the price at this point, right here, right now, is uh, seventeen cents. So you get into these options, saying, "All right, I have a nice little buy uh, sell signal here. Let me uh, buy." And uh, you know what? This, let me. Um, clarify again that these are puts all right this is not shorting here these are puts so you're buying a put and the puts value will go up as the price goes down so this is just going long on a move that you're seeing down it's the same thing you just have that right mindset so here you had uh, you know again um, 17 cent entry you know you could buy a lot more if you wanted to take that trade but just for whatever it is, be it 10 contracts, be 100 contracts, um, whatever it is, take a look at the results. You know, and here we have, don't get crazy, a 27 cent move, a 27 cent move. Now remember what, we, what, the entry, what this was in the beginning, what was it, 17 cents? So it gives us 168% return on your money, 168. This went from, again, um, 17 cents, at the same time, we took off everything else to 40-something 40, uh, 40 cents, 42 cents. Anyway, it went up 26 cents, 162%. 26 cents, 162. I have to write all this stuff down because I, I make notes and stuff. So I'm actually um, updating, um, you know, make this a little clean, cleaner. But now as we look at the... Um, current week's expiration expiration uh today on these and again if you took that same alert you would have gotten those contracts here for 16 17 cents um i want to say 17 then whatever 16 or 17. in this case I, I used a calculation of 16 cents um and of course that 16 uh, cents times 100 would give that one contract uh 16 dollars that you have to put up for a con on contract. So, for argument's sake, you know we're trying to show you the the difference between, um, you know what type of money you know you need twenty two thousand dollars to get a hundred shares and to get a very small profit on the uh, spy. But the underlying contracts, you could see that the higher higher price contract of uh, we had a week to go before expiration was a, a dollar three, and we got a decent uh, you know little percent there, little percentage move, twelve percent move. And you could, uh, you know, you made a little profit on it, which is nice. Oh, I think $130. $130 profit. Not bad, 12%. Take a look at that. Now, remember, that would have cost us about $1,030 to get those 10 contracts. So we're going to try to keep things in that kind of range that we're going to be paying 1000 something. And I just, you know, to make it fun, I said, all right, we have a couple under $2,000 to, to take these trades. $0.16. Cents. Say we get a uh, 100 contracts. 100 contracts, it would bring us to um, $1,600. So we're holding 100 contracts here. And again, you can see uh, just a move up here. And again, to represent a 25, 26 uh, cent move, 26 cent move. Um, that's 147 to 162% move on, on your money. Um, 26, we had to put that in 26. So let's do the math on this. All right, so... <laughs> It makes me juggle. And not every trade is going to end up like this, but this is this is, I think is an eye opener for those out there, who um, you know we look at these options and what you could do with them versus and what how much money you could put up. And especially if we talk about these alerts, you could get a great alert, especially if you identify a trend and you know there's downward pressure, so you have a bigger bigger move down. And this is not you know you know we talk about a 160 percent move or a 130 percent move. You know a 20 percent move is great. And again, we you know these are great scenarios and i'll po point them out all the time but it all becomes it all starts off with the alerts so let's go down to what you finally the final results were remember we invested we got in here on our signal we said all right this is the one that seems to be very active we have a good chance of a nice little run here remember we're going to probably end up um you know using some of our indicators to get out earlier but just to say for whatever reason we got in here just to give you the um 
the comparison between all, all the ones going out to the next week and the ones that are expiring this week. We went from um, 16 cents to 42 cents, which is again a 26 cent uh, move, right, or something like that. Yeah. Um, and 162% return. So that money that we put in, say we had our $1,600, we bought all those contracts, we sold them. We sold them at 4,200, you know, we had 1,600. That leaves us with a profit of uh, 2,600, right? Looks like 2,600, 12, we carry one, yeah. 2,600 gives us 162% on our money. That's incredible. That's incredible right there. Um, and that's not a bad trade either. <laughs> you know, if I look back here, yeah, this thing gets, you know, but you, this is the trade you have to go into knowing what your, your you know, what your mindset is that you're going into this trade. Um, and again, so you can even see, take a look at the moves at the end of the day here. This is, uh, this is moving around. We just had a signal back here. Um, you know, maybe there was another signal. I'm not even sure, but, um, you know, you can even short these, you know, or the move here relative, you know, especially on these options. This is a nice move on the spy, 41 cent, 40, 41, uh, cent move on the spy. And again, uh, you know, a 60% move down on the, uh, the puts here as we moved up. So there's definitely some, you know, the, the alerts are great. You get a nice move, but the returns on this, and you have to have them up. You have to have everything ready. I mean, it's this is just a touch base and kind of open your eyes type of video of what could be seen on this. Um, and we're going to be focused on this going forward a little bit more, you know. It was, it was, and the, I guess the other thing I, I really I like this, and again, you can see the futures here pulling back and the puts here running here. And again, you could be in and out of this multiple times because if you open up a cash account with a, a broker, the options uh, don't get counted as a pattern day trading uh, um, in the pay pattern day trading rule, you won't be, you know, just limited to three trades in, in and out. You could trade this as long as you, as much as you want. So, this gives you a great opportunity for a lot of people to uh, take advantage of that, of that. So, I'll be talking more about that. And if you have any questions on, it, just email me or get in touch with me through one of the social networks, and I'll, I can help you out, set up uh, what you need to set up. But again, you could see if you had a little sell signal here, and the market's pulling back, and you said, "All right, I'm going to take that signal again," you know, just it's right there on the paper. It went from 20 cents, 25 cents to 40 cents, 137 percent move. <laughs> you can do that over and over again. You know, I love this. I love it. Um, and you, you, you know, the upside is 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 much higher. You know. Not to go into the other aspects of trading, you know, protecting yourself, not trading over your boundaries. This is about just showing you the um, the type of trade that this can turn into, you know. There's a lot more that we need to talk about to prepare you, you know, know where you set your stops and stuff. But this this video right now, because we've been talking about the last couple of days, I just want to really show you the comparison between, in this case, the different um, expirations going out to right, you know, the, at today's expiration versus next Friday's expiration. What a big difference it is in the percentage. And, um, you know, of course, you have to be on the right side of the market. But we have that covered, right? So put two and two together. Think about it. All right. So um, I want to I wanna edit this video up a little because I, I did make some mistakes. But I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll uh, get back to you now. Again, I want to get this out. I haven't really started my research but I'm going to do that one next, HPS watch list, coming to you soon.